Okay, I'm back with uh, let's talk about pageantry. I'm gonna talk about some amazing pageantry queens. I call them my pageant sisters, even though I haven't. Uh, uh, two of them are on Facebook, and I'll tell you which two are. And that's Michelle Anderson, and well, three of them: Yolanda Gold. And Miss Tonye, um, I can't think of her name. Miss Tonye Hill. Those are some amazing queens that really have touched me and inspired me just by them putting their stories out and using their testimony. Uh, Yolanda Gold has a testimony. I encountered Yolanda Gold in 2014 on Facebook. I was friends with her. And she won the national Miss Plus America where you go and compete. And at that time, Yolanda Gold, I think this was 2014, she was 33 years of age. But the interesting and amazing thing about Yolanda Gold is Yolanda Gold had uterine cancer. She's a uterine cancer survivor. And so she did not let that stop her from competing in the pageant. She didn't let her size, and the girl had talent. She could sing. And she is doing and has done some positive things in her reign. She mentors children, and she works with the developmental dis disabled. And that's just a small part. And I did see Yolanda go on Facebook, a few videos that she had put out in her reign. But I didn't read her story. I didn't know anything about it because I was kind of, you know, kind of trying to get away from pageantry at that moment. But Michelle Anderson, I knew about Michelle Anderson's story because I had been told it when I entered the pageant. And she was Miss Texas. Miss Plus Texas. And the thing about Michelle's story, and I'm going to say this really, really short. Michelle had a life of, she was molested at a small age, and then she had a reckless relationship with a, with a, with a gang member. And then the gang member molested her daughter. And he ended up going to prison. And then she ended up I guess, you know, from the self-esteem and always being a chubby kid, that she has self-esteem and emotional problems is from what I'm gathering from the article that I read about Michelle. And anyway, that led her to, you know, not feel good about herself. So she indulged in crack at the age of 24. And, uh, you know, it just went downhill from that point. You know, she just got on that crack whack bag. But, you know, uh, she relapsed a couple of times. And anyway, but she um, uh, couldn't get clean and didn't get clean until her daughter got pregnant and she was going to be a grandmother. Then she decided that her daughter and her grandchild needed her. But she entered, she got into some trouble, actually. And she had a choice to go to rehab or go to jail. So she went to rehab and in rehab, you know, she took a HIV test and found out that she had HIV. And so, um, yeah, but she didn't let that defeat her. She fought because there was not a death sentence. She got educated on HIV. She's a spokeswoman for HIV. She turned that around. She turned it around. And uh, she's empowered. And she went on to be a national queen and everything. And her story is awesome. And she's on Facebook. And you should read her story. And the number one queen that inspires me, that I love to death and I've never met her, is Vanessa L. Williams. Now, that's, that's my pageant sister. I grew up watching that young lady walk the stage at the age of when I was 12 years old. That's the person that made me.